Hi guys, I'm Yusuke from Karido Jowaku. Today is day two of us trying out Sanshu or Sanda, which is Chinese kickboxing. Yesterday, we've done a kicking session of Sanshu. Today is going to be about throws and takedowns. Tomorrow's going to be sparring, so don't miss that as well. So yeah, we started by doing some basics. <laughs> yeah, although this looks like he's just carrying me with his upper body, I later found out that it was all about the lower body. See how I'm using my arms to carry Hiroto over? Yeah, it's not how you do it. So you grab under his hips and put himself on your shoulder like this yeah it was so much lighter like this <laughs> yeah it was amazing actually yeah it's very different now it's hiroto's turn yeah, he got it a lot more smoother than me but it was <laughs> it was very scary because he lifted my leg up <laughs> but yeah i guess the key was contact and that's the application and now we're practicing ukemi or passive form yeah so the key here is to oh hiroto <laughs> the key here is to absorb the power with your wrist and the elbow so you go ta -ta, yeah, ta -ta, like that and use your abs core core muscles Pretty good, I think. And this is another way to go ukemi. <laughs> you first contact the floor <laughs> with your hands and then disperse that to your shoulder blade. Mm, very smooth, right? See, I'm rolling rather than going from the hand. So this is a completely opposite approach from judo. Because judo, you roll, right? <laughs> but after some practices, I think I've gotten a little better. <laughs> Still slow, but yeah, I guess that's the overall idea. If you liked the video up to this point, please consider subscribing to my online group lesson, which I hold every weekend from the link up above. Now, combinations of going to a takedown. We don't have this at all. We don't use both of our hands. It's, we only do ashibarai, so something completely new. Mm. The shoulder is important again, just like we did with the basics. Uh, yeah, very, same exact idea. And that movement was from the Tao Lu video we've done. So if you haven't checked that out, please check that out. Now practicing. <laughs> now it's Hiroto's turn. Mm. Good, very good. And right, now moving on to how to counter that with a defense technique. So it was basically having the force from above and pulling the front leg, just like that, yes. I guess this is a basic way of you know defending yourself in wrestling. Uh, but yeah, it was our first time trying. Mm, pulling the front leg. 
Yeah, practicing some more. And oh yeah, May was giving me advice to cover my head when I do the punch. Yes, this goes the same when I do karate kumite as well. This is a bad habit that I have. So yeah, it was very nice that he was able to correct me like that. Mm, now that I see it, I'm looking down, so maybe I should fix that as well. we have to go down so usually you know when we kick we go up but going down was a little bit difficult hope you guys liked the video tomorrow is finally about sparring so please check that out from the video up here and for other videos uh, yesterday's video is this one and if you like to subscribe right here and for my online group lesson which I hold every weekend check it out from here so I'll see you guys tomorrow